everyone, I'm Danny Walker, you're watching Pageant Access, and today's episode is about my faves from Miss Teen USA 2016. I would like to preface this video by saying I do not really follow the Teen USA competition. I do not keep up with all the Teen USA title holders, so when this video was requested, I thought, okay, I'll do it, but I really have no idea about these girls, to be honest. And as I was looking online on their official profiles and reading about them and checking all of their social media, these girls are just gorgeous. They're gorgeous. How are there so many beautiful ones? I never looked like that growing up. I was covered in so much acne and I had no eyebrows and I didn't know how to put any makeup on. Not that I'm like that great now even at makeup, but still, I just don't understand how so many of them are that gorgeous. Like somebody explain this to me. I just don't, it's, I mean, tell me that it's filters. <sighs> Okay, so really quick list, and then I'm gonna have some notable mentions here. Beginning with, we're gonna go in alphabetical order, guys. I can't, I, I just can't be mixing these up right now. Alabama, Arizona, California, Connecticut, Delaware, Georgia, Illinois, Minnesota, Missouri, Nevada, Miss New Jersey, Washington, and West Virginia. Those girls right off the bat stood out to me. Can I just say, Miss Minnesota, in all of her pictures, I have never seen a contestant who has this consistently happy smile. Look at her Instagram, not kidding. She looks so genuinely happy in every picture. I just want, I hope that that's genuine. I just wanna to get to know her. I wanna be friends with her. I feel like she would really brighten up my day. So good for you, Miss Minnesota. I mean, that's awesome. I wish I looked so genuinely happy in every photo. I love that. Next is California, so let's give a shout out to Athena, who was also a Nam queen in the past. Last time she competed, she was a junior teen and placed top 10 at nationals, and it's no wonder that she won California Teen USA. She placed top 20, top 10, top five, and then one, or something like that. Basically, she placed better, better, and better every year, and when she won, she just killed it. She knew she was gonna win. Everybody in the audience knew she was gonna win. She did really, really well. I love Athena because I think she's so unexpected. She's so funny. I rode with her on the bus to orientation last year and she was just so funny and so unexpected. She just says stuff and it really throws you off. And that's what I like about her because it's so anti-pageant. That's my favorite thing about Athena is that she's just so funny and she has this kind of dry, sarcastic sense of humor, which I'm a really big fan of. So I love that about her, but beyond her being funny and a cool person, what I really like is how well-spoken she is. So she's not just beautiful and poised, she actually has a brain and her experience hosting for different TV shows and various projects really pays off because she is impressive and has really amazing onstage question answers and I'm sure she's gonna kill it in an interview too. So watch out for California, she's amazing. Side note, she is Venezuelan, so no wonder why her face is so stunning. She's got that Venezuelan blood in her. She's gorgeous. Nevada, I have been following on all social media. I think she is so cute. Obviously, she has a great director to prepare her, Shayna Mokler, who has consistently had queens that have been placing well for the past couple years, if not winning. Hello, Nia Sanchez. So Nevada, I think it's going to be a standout. She is just stunning. It's just every photo. I love the image that was shot by Georgina Vaughn. That was her official image. I think it's really clean and youthful. Love it. I think that Connecticut is really cute. I saw her official photo and I didn't think it was the best image of her. I thought that they could have selected something better, but when I was looking at her social media, she does look really natural and I think that she does look really great on stage and she's super tall. So she is really, really beautiful, I think, on stage. I think that for photos that they needed to be a little bit better and I think hair and makeup in person can be a little bit better, but it is Teen USA and I think that they don't have to be so done up all the time and they don't have to be this pageant perfect girl and the natural girl can win. So I did like can I get for that reason? Missouri really stood out to me too. I just think that her in every image, whether it's an official image or she's at an appearance, she just really stands out in a crowd. So I really liked her. And another shout out to a former NAM girl, Claire from Washington. She is outstanding. Claire was also a NAM junior teen. She also placed top 10. I think that her and Athena might have competed together or they might have missed each other by one year. I cannot remember, but I will never forget Claire's 
forest green suit that she wore for intro and how stunning she was on stage and how poised it really shocked me that she did not place in the top five that year at nationals so i am so excited to see her hit the team usa stage i think she's going to be so amazing and would be a really great representative for team usa okay everyone like i said i have no clue what i'm doing in terms of picking girls for team usa i just chose ones that sort of stuck out to me or ones that i kind of knew a little bit about please share what you know about these contestants because I have no clue right now just to be honest so let me know what you know in those comments I'm actually really curious who do you think is going to do really well at Teen USA this year I'm gonna try to be better at following the Teen USA competition the road to Teen USA hopefully I'll be able to watch the Teen USA pageant this year and do a recap for you guys and let you know my thoughts about that one so let me know what you think love to hear from you guys always leave those comments below please subscribe stay tuned if you want to follow me on social media i'm going to be linking all that information afterwards and also guys thank you so much for all your support i really appreciate all of your love and encouragement and comments i love you all thank you so much bye hi everyone i'm danny that was really loud all right everyone oh look at my hair it's really bad Ha <laughs>